Welcome, people. Today's message is, are we uh, respecters of persons in the body of Christ? You know, I see this too often that we as a body of Christ, whether we are leaders in the church or whether we are part of the congregation, we want to respect the persons based on the outside appearance, based on the physical Instead of looking in, in, into the spiritual realm, instead of looking whether the person carries the presence of God or, or has God with them. You know, we want to be focused all on titles, on materialism as a body of Christ. You know, especially nowadays, we just want to, we, 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 we judge based on the outside within the body i'm not saying all people but the majority it's like it's like we haven't um come to the realization that we need to have spiritual eyes we, we need to be unified as a body in spirit and it's crazy how you know because a person has this or doesn't have this or because a person has a certain uh, type of status that we regard them or disregard them instead of looking at the at the spirit whether this person loves the lord or not whether this person care uh carries the the character of christ carries the presence of god has the love of god in their hearts and sadly there's many people in the church that re regard the persons regard the titles instead of you know uh instead of having discernment of the holy spirit to to guide them to the truth of the person to guide them in in, in understanding is is this person actually with god or, or or not with god does this person love the lord jesus christ or not because people our culture is a kingdom culture it's not an earthly culture it's not based on skin color it's not based on discrimination it's not based on status it's based on having the lord over our lives and faith in him and to live like him and to and and to be like him but sadly sadly this uh type of uh, respect of a person's um, uh, thing has has crept in, in in our hearts within the church, and we we shouldn't be we shouldn't be um, looking on the on the exterior but the interior. And this is how people fail to have discernment. People, we we need to ask the Holy Spirit. Show me. Holy Spirit, and just take a step back for a second. Just ponder about the person. Don't just accept any 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 words, just what they're telling you, or you know, just step back for a moment and let the let the Holy Spirit give you the sermon. Just analyze for a second, or just analyze the person, and really talk to the Lord. Is this person deceiving me? It, does this person actually love the Lord? Because the fruits will show. You know, we can pretend uh, to like each other in church. We can pretend to be greeting one another all fine. We could be uh, pretending to give the most wonderful, wonderful sermons out there. But deep down inside, our our hearts are filthy. Bearing no fruit, now walking with Christ. Come on, people. I want to read to you in James. James. Um, James chapter 2. Uh, regarding uh, respect of persons in, in, inside the church. It says, My brothers, do not hold the faith of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ of glory with respect of persons. It's an important thing to do and a command from the Lord. I'm going to read it to you again on, on James chapter 2. Verses, verses 1 and I'm going to keep on reading and it says my brothers do not hold the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ of glory with respect to persons 
Meaning, people, if we have faith in the Lord and our foundation is in the Lord Jesus Christ, we're not supposed to look at another individual based on skin, based on their, on their culture, based on their titles, on their status, etc., etc., whether they're tall, short, poor, rich, you name it, or where they come from a different country. No. We, we have to look beyond the physical people. We, as believers, who have truly the Holy Spirit, need to see beyond that, people. Another thing. I'm going to keep on reading. For there comes into your synagogue a man with a gold with gold rings and splendid clothing. And there also comes in a poor man in filthy clothing. And you look upon one wearing the splendid clothing and say, You sit here in a good place. And to the poor man you say, You stand there or sit under my footstool. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil reasonings? You see, the Lord causes as evilness being a respecter of persons and, and and not having the discernment to see in the spiritual realm whether this person bears fruit whether this person is with Christ yet we want to look on the exterior carnal Christians in the church carnality has no part in the kingdom of God has no part in the church people yet we're, we're yet we're favoring people by what they look like uh by what they have instead of uh instead of favoring people by if they have the lord jesus christ over their lives anybody can dress up as a christian nowadays anybody can have all these types of wealth and all these types of luxuries people we must have discernment in the church we must see the person's heart and sadly people because the true church people is not the true church is without spot without wrinkle and without blemish it is a spiritual church who lives for the lord who has the lord in their hearts who aspires to be like the Lord Jesus Christ every single day but yeah we're respecting a person from the outside and inside they don't have the Lord Jesus Christ in their hearts at all and yet you're being fooled by that person carrying no fruits of the Holy Spirit no character of the Lord Jesus Christ but you respect them because they have a certain title or because they dress nicely. No, people, just because they have all that and they have titles doesn't mean that they're walking with the Lord. Doesn't mean that the presence of God is within them. I'm teaching you guys something, people, because we, as a body of Christ, will be without excuse on that day. And these things are evil and are sin according to the Lord it is walking in the flesh is being carnal and it says listen my beloved brothers did not God choose the poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him so I'm not saying and the Lord is not saying that that every poor person has the Lord in their hearts. No, we're not saying that because the the it it all comes down to on the type of person. You know, but people we we need we need to see beyond the physical. Because, you know, whether a person you know, I'm not saying uh not all rich people in the church are like that and not all poor people in the church uh, are, are like that you get me it's you know it depends on the person but 
you know, it's proving a point, people, that we're not supposed to be respective persons. It says, but you have dishonored the poor. Is it not the rich who oppress you? And is it not they who drag you to the courts? Is it not they who blaspheme the honorable name by which you are called? If indeed you are fulfilling the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, you do well. But if you respect persons, you commit sin being convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keeps the whole law yet stumbles in one point has become guilty of all. So, people, you have it there that we are supposed to love our neighbor. Truly, no matter what they look like on the outside. And I know it can become difficult. Loving our, our, our neighbor is a crucial thing, especially with, within inside the church. And it's crazy how we're not really truly loving our neighbors. We can pretend, we can say all these nice things, but, but what are we thinking in our hearts? What are we thinking in our minds? Like, like truly, because we only deceive ourselves. Because if we're judging in the church in, in, in terms on the outside of appearance saying, oh, oh, that person looks ugly or oh, that person looks poor or oh, that person looks a certain type of way. I'm not going to mess with that person. You never know, people. Those people can be the most anointed people, the most um, anointed people by God and chosen by God. He, who knows? Because God can choose the unexpected people in the church as his real children. You never know. You never know, people. This is why it's so crucial that we need discernment in the church and we need to stop um, discriminating inside the church. And I get it, you know. Uh, there's nothing wrong with going to churches of, you know, of your own language because of the language barrier. But we're, I'm talking to churches who um, who have mingled with different types of people, different types of uh, people, different status and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I get it. There's nothing wrong with going to your own language church, you know, because of language barrier. But these are to the churches that you know that have mingled you know every nation every types of status together and they're respecting each other based on on on, on carnality and uh, by the flesh and not by the spirit we we need to stop these things people huge sin in the eyes of god because God is not a respecter of persons either. He doesn't discriminate. He doesn't show racism. He doesn't care if you're rich or poor. The money you have, the looks, the good looks, it doesn't matter to him. He sees beyond the physical. He will see your heart. He sees the outside as well, but he sees the heart, people. And he sees whether you love him, whether you're living for him. He sees it all. So I just wanted to add this a little bit, people, that we, we, we need to stop these types of sins inside the church. We are supposed to um, uh, have discernment to mingle with spiritual christians spiritual believers who actually carry the presence of god who actually love god and 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 love each other and and love people because if if we're judging on the outside and we're focusing on the outside people 
then we ourselves are not carrying the Lord Jesus Christ in our hearts. And those people that we're mingling with are not carrying the Lord either. And we're, we're just deceiving each other. A false type of Christianity, people, a false type of love, if we walk like that in the body of Christ. So people, think about this deeply. It's time to reevaluate on who are we respecting inside the church and who are we favoring based on, on carnality. Just repent. I'm not here to condemn you, but just repent and ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, give me discernment, Lord, about this type of person. I don't want to mingle with the wrong crowd. I don't want to mingle with someone who, who doesn't have a heart that pursues you and wants to be like you and doesn't have a heart to love other people unconditionally. So, people, I hope you like this message. Comment and share. It truly helps. It truly helps the church as a whole because many people are ignorant. Many people think that, um, you know, they're going to enter the kingdom of heaven with not loving uh, their neighbor, not loving the, the people in church. And I know anybody can be can be prideful people and, you know, selfishness can creep in inside the church if we let it. I'm not here to condemn. But no, we're supposed to have eyes for 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 a spiritual kingdom, for a spiritual church, for spiritual people. And not what people display on the outside. But what's inside their heart. If they truly carry the Lord. So people be blessed by this message. You have a good day.